welcome to Aquarium Concepts, We're doing the daily market update live today. I do have a guest with me, Articulate, trying some new toys that we have on the channel here, see how it works. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please like and share the video. Helps get the message out there. I'm your host, Chris, reporting from the beautiful Monashi Mountains in British Columbia, Canada, February 29th, 2024. If you need to learn about staking on Corium, the community DAO that we're building, or an appearance on the Super Ledger podcast, you can head to CoriumCommunityDAO.com for more information about that. Uh, this weekend on the Super Ledger podcast, I'm pleased to say that we have Cleomedes joining us. It's a powerful Web3 project in the Cosmos Ecoverse, and uh, I think we're gonna have a lot to learn from them on Sunday. So set your reminders for that. And we have a busy month ahead on the podcast. Uh, lots of good things coming up. We'll talk a little bit about that later. Now here's taking a look at the uh, Cleomedes uh, site. It's a decentralized enterprise. They have the Clio token. That's their governance token for their DAO. It's a pretty impressive project. And uh, there'll be a lot of value for our community and especially what we're doing here at the DAO. Getting into the markets. This is on the weekly chart. There's going to be some big candles in here. We'll start with the total crypto market cap at 2.25 trillion, up 1.15% on the day. Gold is trading at $2,044. Silver twenty two dollars and fifty five cents. DXY at one oh four point zero five nine. And oh, I'm uh, just one second here. Got a glitch. There we go. Okay, Corium down a little bit here today at down 1.2% on the day, trading at 14.254 cents. And Sologenic is at 16.41 cents, up 2.3% on the day. Omniflix has recovered the 20 cent mark up, or sorry, down 1.14% on the day, but uh, still holding that 20 cent level again. And XRP, big weekly candle here and has crossed the 60 cent mark and trading at 61.416 cents, up 6.67% on the day. And Bitcoin, a huge candle here on the week. 62,485 at the moment. It did reach a high of 64,201. Powerful week on the markets and interesting to see XRP surging as Bitcoin cools off a bit. We'll keep our eyes on that. All right, uh, Patrick Riley is on the podcast here a few weeks ago. Uh, this is an interesting statistic here. Uh, this is daily, but there's 900 Bitcoin minted per day, which will seem be 450 supply shock incoming. So you see record breaking daily inflows to back, BlackRock. It was over 10,000 Bitcoin. They now hold over 150,000 Bitcoin and Fidelity owns over 100,000. So you can just see that daily inflows of uh, Bitcoin quite large here obviously leading to some upwards pressure in price. Smart stake analytics, checking in with the validators on the Corium network. Total staked Corium, 307,057,830, representing 54.5% of the circulating supply currently locked up on the network. There's 1.4 million tokens currently being undelegated and a 26.04 staking APR. 
here at the Corium Community DAO. We're 31st in voting power with 3.4 million tokens locked up, representing 1.11% of the vote. Staking with us, we have 3% commission fees, but that all gets directed back to the Corium Community DAO to be managed by the community. 247 unique delegators at the moment. We thank you all very much. Currently, the strongest validator on the network is Zen Lounge, 36.3 million, representing 11.93% of the vote. In second, you'd have BitTrue at 9.84%, Cosmos Station at 7.57%, 007 Corium at 6.24%, and Macy and Foster at 5.86% in fifth. 64 validators currently on the network. Everything's been running really good, have had no issues at all. Checking in with Paul Sarah. We have a vote currently open at the moment, and that is to um, fund the listing of Sarah on Bitru. So uh, that looks like it's going to pass currently 26.23% voting yes, and virtually uh, no abstaining or no votes of mention. That does end tomorrow like to see a little bit higher turnout there just to show the community engagement on this great initiative be very good for the sarah token i think to be listed on bitrue taking a look at the pools total liquidity provided 1.259 million trading volume at 220,000 here today in the last 24 hours yesterday was extremely high i think 370,000 at some point uh, total swaps, 27,000 so far with 1,750 active stakers. And you can see the pools. We have Sarah USDC, Corium USDC, Corium Sarah, Adam Sarah, and Adam Corium. I was just making mention on X post yesterday that uh, people at the on the XRP ledger are anxiously awaiting USDC. Uh, it's coming your way sooner rather than later with the Corium two-way bridge. So. Uh, keep your eyes on that. If you need to learn more, reach out to us and we'll get you up to speed. Checking in with the IBC network with map of zones. Last 24 hours, we have $150,720 in IBC volume. Currently have 10 peers on the chain. And you can see the weekly volume here is trending higher at 884,000. See, Corium currently has a market cap of 81,946,000. Trading volume last 24 hours is just under 1.9 million. Token supply, 562,730,000 with a 14.8% inflation rate. And we'll check in with our unique delegators at 6,248 steady increase as it has been for a while. Okay, and checking in with XRP scan, checking in with the amendments, the AMM still at 26 and needs to be until more people get the current rippled update. We'll take a look at that. Uh, thing of interest, the cross chain bridge is not moving. It is still at nine. Not much progress there at all. The exciting thing for us here at the Corium Network is Reza did confirm that the two-way bridge they are building and soon to deploy does not require any amendments to function, uh, or no, doesn't require any amendments to pass uh, to function as intended. So uh, as soon as they have it ready to deploy, it's good to go and uh, very excited to see that. And checking in with why the AMM vote uh, though this is, oh, this has grown significantly since yesterday, but uh, this rippled 2.1 uh, does need to increase uh, up until that sufficiently updated area of 80%. Otherwise, these guys get uh, amendment blocked, and that's not good at all. So we're getting there, but uh, probably a month away from AMMs uh, on the conservative side of things there. 
All right, Dan, before uh, one last slide before I jump to my co host here, articulate today, I want to jump in anytime actually. Uh, I found this interesting here. It's always been something that's confused me, but uh, looking at XP market, the weekly XRPL update, number one token on the network, Sologenic, number two, Corium, number three, Pillar, uh, with the number of traders. But then even beyond that, if you uh, take a look at the market caps, same story uh, by a long shot. Sologenic, $65 million market cap. Corium, uh, 15.3. I don't know about that. That's a, I don't know how they determine that. But uh, And then you have Pillar in third. But the thing that's uh, interesting here that I wanted to point out is holders. 230,000 holders, 53,000 Corium holders. XRPL influencers, where the hell are you? Like, wake up, people. Um, the, these guys get no attention. Uh, you know, we have such a massive XRP community and, and the influencers have such a broad reach, yet they completely ghost the two largest projects on the network. So, um, you know, there's been a lot of questions and, you know, how can we attract more people to the network? Well, it's about time we all start working together to advance this XRPL together. We have uh, your top projects not getting uh, any airtime, and it's quite unfortunate because they're they're bringing a lot of value to the XRPL. So with that, Articulate, welcome. How are you doing today? Hey, Chris. Uh, thank you for having me. Um, great to be here, and I love this uh, you know new addition uh, to your format. I, I really enjoy it. It's really smooth. Right on. Yeah, I hope it's sounding okay. I said the one thing that makes me a little bit nervous about this platform is I have no audio output uh, uh, visibility to see what uh, what those are at, but hopefully it's stable. Uh, if you're listening to the program, let us know. Sounds good. If you need any adjustments, uh, this is the first run at this, so we're, uh, we're learning and, and always wanting to improve, so give us that feedback. Yeah, you sound great. You sound great to me, so... Um... Should be good. Right on, right on. Uh, next slide I had to talk about was uh, kind of related. Monica Long, uh, president of Ripple. We keep saying that the future is multi-chain. Hugely excited for Axler Network to integrate with the XRP Ledger. One, bringing more cross-chain dApps to the XRPL. Two, providing liquidity for stable coins and other assets. Three, expanding the XRPL's features to 50 plus other blockchains. So uh, you did a great thread on uh, on uh, that whole subject. Uh, oh, I thought I had that up. I got I got another great thread from you here on the bridge. But um, <laughs> yeah, that uh, Axler partnership, is, that's that's a big one. Um, and it's interesting because yes. that's related to Corium in some way. Yeah, and um, I'm, you know, when I saw the announcement from Ripple, uh, I definitely was very excited about the time we're in. You know, it shows us like by timestamp where we are with, you know, XRPL about to be able to, you know, take on DeFi capabilities, um, you know, cross chain uh, capabilities, and uh, bringing this integration and partnership with. Axelor Foundation, I think it's a step closer to um, what we have always been sp speaking about with Corium and the two-way bridge and um, the, the, the role that the Cosmos ecosystem and IBC will play in interoperability in the blockchain space, period. Yeah, and you look at who who our peers are currently on the Corium network. I just brought up that uh, page here. Um you know, you got Noble, Osmosis, Cosmos, and look at that. Axler is there. DYDX is there. Evmos. They also announced that uh, they're they're yeah, they have an integration with the XRPL coming up here. You know, so these are our peers. Like this is who Corium can uh, connect with peer to peer on the on the Cosmos ecosystem. So um, these announcements uh, that they're having about connecting with the XRPL are huge because uh, it just it just increases that interconnectedness that we have uh, with Corium and IBC networks. 
Yeah, and let's not forget a few months ago, I did also make a discovery with band protocol and the band protocol is the Oracle layer for both XRPL and Corium. So let's not forget that. Yeah, exactly. And and so with all those connections that we just spoke about, it doesn't even speak to what Corium's building themselves. And you had a great post here this morning. I'll just see if I can get the audio to play. It's a little laggy, so we'll see what it does here. No, it's not going to do it. Uh, anyways, well, this clip was Reza just speaking to um, the two-way bridge and and the value that it's going to be able to bring to the XRP ledger uh, because it's going to be able to move all XRPL assets and all Corium chain assets back and forth seamlessly between the two networks. And uh, I know you probably interacted with the the sologenic bridge that uh, you bring your Corium uh, from the XRPL to the Corium network. You know how flawless that works at the moment. So it's uh, exciting to see uh, that that's going to be available to all assets on both chains here right away. Yeah. Uh, would you like me to, uh, I think I could play it from my end. You know, yeah. If you want to give it a try. Yeah. Mine's just too lagged out here. All right. We have rest in the building on the cold founder or creator of Sologenic and Corium, you know, if there's anything you would like to share with the community, sir, the floor is yours. Hi, everyone. How are you? I think I joined a little bit late. I just uh, heard like the last five minutes, but I really enjoyed it. Now, I just want to add something about the two-way bridge. And um, so... Basically, the two-way bridge, I think, is one of the most interesting projects that we have worked on because it has been very challenging to create the two-way bridge between the XRP Ledger and Corium. And we are going to launch this bridge sometime in February 2024 or um, late January 2024. And this is the most amazing thing that we've done because not only XRP can be bridged to Corium, every other token that's issued on the XRP ledger can um, flow between the two chains um, in, in both directions. And, you know, I think this is going to create a huge value um, both for the XRP ledger and Corium because, um, you know, Corium is an IBC chain and so you could essentially see every other IBC, you know, token like USDC, USDT, and every other day there's a new new chain that integrates with IBC, like Avalanche, like you know, BNB chain and Polygon. All of those are, you know, um, connecting to the IBC, and essentially all those tokens could, um, you know, f flow bidirectionally between Corium and the XRP ledger. And so in a sense, we would call that, you know, a, a side chain of the XRP ledger because this bridge is a decentralized bridge and it is secured by the relayers. So I think, you know, we're going to release more information about the bridge soon, but um, that's very exciting for me and the team. We have a resident in the building. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh that's fantastic. And in fairness to to Reza, like uh, timelines in tech is tough. Uh, certainly not holding holding them to to those hard dates. We are at the end of February here, but in fairness, at the time of that discussion, it was said that it was at the auditors. Uh, so obviously, if there's there's some things that they had to address post audit, uh, that that certainly affects the timeline. So um this uh gotta give gotta give it uh, the proper time because we want this done the right way and uh, obviously the team's uh very very methodical and thorough on on getting this out so um should be soon though that's what i'm excited about it's uh, definitely coming you know we knew it was an audit back at that conversation so we know it's close yeah and um you know 
the way Reza speaks. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah. Can. Well, the way Reza speaks about this um, two-way bridge, it's uh, it's like their highest achievement. You know, it's the biggest thing they've ever done. And if you've loved anything about Corium and you know what they've accomplished so far, then I'm sure we are in for a treat with what's coming with the two-way bridge and you know what it will open up in um you know with Corium and XRP Ledger and IDC. Yeah, for sure. And it kind of leads me to what I have set up here next. Um, you know, the, these guys built Sologenic and, and that's kind of what I was alluding to earlier, how the XRPL is is kind of uh, um, not not uh, it's not that they need acknowledgement, but it's 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 almost like they're they uh, they don't give any focus to the builders that have made something successful on the XRPL. Um, you know, and, and it's, it's bizarre to me. It's it's uh, obviously uh, something that's frustrated me for a couple of years uh, in that regard because they have such fantastic technology. Like you look at the the uh, asset tokenization platform that's been available for for years. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, it's you know the the uh, AMM like they've showed like that's been ready ready to go as soon as this goes live for a long time. They've showed the screenshots and. And, uh, you know what I mean? So yeah, it's, you know, you, you sit here and listen to everybody's, you know, have these, these spaces every day and say, Hey, how do we attract more people to the XRP ledger? And, you know, how do we, you know, make things better around here? It's like, well, why not look to the people that have been successful on it? You know what I mean? Like by, by leaps and bounds, it's, uh, uh, they've, they've attracted more users to the ledger than any project. It's not even close. And, and yet they're not even bringing them into this discussion. It's, it's so frustrating. And, and uh, you know, you just see both, both these projects, Sologenic and Corium, just drive, drive, drive forward. And, and it's exciting because, uh, you know, we hear Reza talk about later in that conversation, they talk about creating assets on Corium and bridging them over to the XRP ledger to take advantage of the AMMs over there, right? So um, this is clearly about... Um, integrating everything together that's why you know you see my my avatar there the the three the trinity that's you know I've, i created that uh a long time ago because i have always believed that these three uh technologies are meant to work together and the part i missed out of that way back when was the ibc component you know to create this super ledger that we now have in front of us here so yeah uh, exciting times and you know as you get into this thread with intellectual property and tokenization um, with Sologenic, it just shows you, as you said, this um, these projects and these protocols have been building forever on the XRP ledger and they have some of the highest tech in the industry and they still don't get the credit. You know, they're about to tokenize the stock market and, you know, other types of um, assets, real world assets. And we are on the, you know, the final phases of that becoming a reality as well, you know. So there's a lot to look forward to, you know, between these projects. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot going on, and and I just wanted to touch on this, like Sologenic's role in tokenization. It says here, Sologenic is at the forefront of transforming these traditional systems by introducing tokenization to the IP and patents domain. This not only simplifies the entire process of discovery and research, but also opens up the IP and patent markets to a broader audience, enhancing liquidity and ensuring more transparent and efficient operations. Built on the XRP Ledger, Sologenics platform offers a robust solution for the tokenization of IP and patents. The platform ensures these tokens can be securely traded, tracked, and managed on blockchain, offering enhanced transparency and traceability, global accessibility and participation, like we said earlier, 230,000 uh, holders of Sologenic, um, and efficient and cost-effective transactions. Um, the future of IP and patent tokenization. Patent protection stands as a unique asset class that when strategically leveraged retains significant value regardless of company's outcome. With the patent market showing investments growing by more than 13% year over year, it's apparent there's a noticeable interest from both retail investors and institutions alike. Institutions have started using IP as collateral for loans, boosting funding and interest in this area. However, for individual investors, the high entry barriers remain a challenge. 
Sologenic believes that tokenizing IP could be the key to lowering these barriers, making it easier for every anyone to invest and participate in these often complex markets. And it's, it's just a powerful tool. Um, you know, we were having a conversation yesterday about, you know, just, uh, you know, protecting your intellectual property and, you know, the costs and, and the, uh, the uh, barriers to do so, where uh, if you can do that in a decentralized way, comfort of your living room, no middleman, um, no, no, no way to have that censored or deterred. It's powerful tools. And uh, these are being created by some of the biggest builders on the XRP ledger. And it's, I think it's uh, uh, high time it gets recognized for what they're doing. There's a, there's a huge success story here in the making and uh, uh, they're, they're showing people a way. Uh, there's uh, clearly a way to serve the, the institutional and the enterprise part of it, but at the same time, uh, serve the customer base, customer base like me, who it's important to have that decentralized self-custody uh, control of their assets. So, yeah, uh, and if you look at the, you know, what they've been rolling out, they, you know, give us Sologenic, uh, we got Corium, we got Pulsara, we're about to get Welp, you know, bids. Um, they, it's just, you know, tools that are placed in our hands that we could leverage um, and participate in parts of the economy that probably, you know, were restricted or was, you know, we weren't able to before. So, shout out to the team at Sologenic um, that's building on the XRP ledger and and Corium. Yeah, you bet. I see there's some comments coming in there. If you guys have any questions anytime I'm live, uh, especially with Articulate here, uh, wealth of knowledge, uh, feel free to ask any questions. So uh, more than willing to help you out. Uh, if you want to join our Discord, it's also a great place. Uh, to get questions and help with anything you need there. CoreanCommunityDAO.com has all those links. Yeah, Ken, Ken has a nice comment down there saying we did. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna throw that up there. I'm glad, yeah, it's like I said, this was one thing, like when I change platforms and you know, you take a, a feature like your visible audio controls away, it's, uh, it's concerning to me. But uh, for those of you that follow this channel from the start, you know, uh, Audio has always been a thing on this channel. So uh, Ken says it sounds good. And thank you for that, Ken. Appreciate the feedback. And uh, thanks for joining us today. Next thing I had to share here was uh, from Cosmos, the interchain. The deep in space, Jackal protocols making strides as decentralized cloud storage platform using interchain stack. Explore their latest development in Power and Cosm Wasm network to integrate custom app chain functionalities via smart contracts. You know, and that's why this is important. Is it going to show me? Yeah. Uh, every Cosm Wasm enabled network can have a production grade app chain integrated locally as a smart contract. So, uh, Jackal's absolutely been surging lately. Um, but you know, here's something I found interesting here. As big as this ecosystem is, adoption of ID IBC is still in its infancy with the bulk of Cosmos. Oh, sorry, I'm not showing the right slide. There we go. Um, just went to the medium article of the same thing there. Uh, adoption of IBC is still in its infancy with the bulk of Cosmos SDK app chains using the ICS 20 transfer module for token transfer. Porting a production grade app chain's functionality into a smart contract on another app chain marks a groundbreaking moment for the inter blockchain communication protocol. As an open source project, the Jackal Outpost sets a precedent for completely decentralized and interoperable distributed applications. One speculation on how this technology can be used beyond Jackal's specific storage use case could be lending platforms. Currently, in the interchain, lending platforms exist as isolated entities with many developed as smart contracts and deployed on different networks. Under the guise of bringing the lending protocol to a new network, the developers are forced to redeploy the smart contract code verbatim on another network without utilizing IPC at all. This means that any market position on one network cannot affect any other market positions on the sibling network, because although they're the same platform, they're totally isolated. In this new era of interchain account connectivity we're ushering in, a lending platform could be deployed as a standalone blockchain 
but pose as a smart contract on many other networks. So you can dive more into this on uh, on that uh, link there in the Medium article, but uh, it's just powerful stuff. Um, I'm pretty excited for for uh, once this this whole loop's connected, once we have that two-way bridge IBC connectivity. Uh, there's so many people on the XRPL with just liquidity just sitting there stagnant that are going to have so many options. Um, it's it's just mind-boggling, uh, you know, to go from having no options to the whole cosmos <laughs> ecosystem just with a snap of a finger. It's it's going to blow a lot of people's minds. Yeah, I, I do believe so, and I think that maybe some are not mentally prepared right now. They've been, you know, kind of looking at the. A possibility of this AMM going live um, when you're going to have multiple pools of liquidity, multiple AMMs that are going to come online very soon. Yeah, I saw that it was, I think, 999,999. Uh, uh, yeah. Nine. Yeah, so it's like still a lot. Just under 1 billion, we'll say in short. <laughs> so, yeah, that's. Uh, Question from Rich Within was the circ circulating supply of Pulsera, the Sera token. That is it. And then uh, he went on to ask, uh, also, do you think the price of Sera will dump once listed on BitTrue? I'm not too sure. Uh, I'm not too sure how to play that. Part of me thinks that it might bring some more pressure to it because like right now, uh, with everybody wanting to take full advantage of the... Uh, the uh, upcoming airdrops, I just don't see a lot of selling pressure of Sarah at all. It's been completely stable um, around that three cent mark, you know, just above, just below. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see. I mean, I don't know, your guess, what do you think it's going to be, Rich? You tell me. What's your look on that articulate? Without giving financial advice, it's not something we do here, but uh, do you think that listing is going to have uh, some positive pressure? I'm not sure. You know, I've, I've thought also since what's being since they announced it, there would have also been you know some buying pressure. I haven't seen much um, of anything right now, but uh, it's still I don't know. This is a new type of token. It's a new type of platform, and as you said, the, the stability has been you know remarkable. It's 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 new to me, so still trying to you know wrap my head around it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Earth to Pokemon says, uh, where can you buy Sarah? Currently, uh, it's available at pulsera.io on the Corium network. Um, you can purchase it with uh, USDC, Corium, uh, and Atom, if you have Atom also. Uh, if this proposal gets voted through, which it looks like it will, uh, then you'll obviously be able to buy it on BitTrue uh, very soon after. I don't imagine that integration will take long because BitTrue currently uh, does handle mainnet Corium, so uh, Sarah's uh, a Corium based token. So that I think that integration will be very quick and seamless. So I, I would suspect within a couple of days you're going to be able to uh, buy that Sarah token on BitTrue also. Well, if you look right there, um uh chris it says actions if when that passes the tokens will just be sent to bitru <laughs> yeah ab absolutely yeah <laughs> so yeah and, and you know like typically with a new blockchain integration uh you know there's some obviously some time that's required from bitru to to enable that but i don't think that'll be the case being that they're already you know connected yeah. with corium yeah so should be a pretty seamless process, I think. It'd be exciting. This is going to be like the first time, you know, uh, an external function uh, will be happening based on a decentralized uh, vote on the on the DAX. Yeah, we're making history here, guys. Yeah, yeah. That's why I like said, um, you know, for anybody that's got their their Sarah token staked, because it's only those that have had it staked before this proposal went live that can vote. Um, even though this looks like a sure, sure pass, uh, get out there and vote just to, just to show like, yes, like we as a community really support this initiative. Uh, it just gives it uh, a good look for, 
uh, potential investors looking in to see what the community's engagement's like. And it's also, uh, you know, good for BitTrue to say, hey, look, at like these guys re are really engaged and, and eager to have this token listed on BitTrue. So even though this is a sure pass by the looks of it, get your vote out there and uh, get your voice heard. Show some support or, or even if you're against it, you know, whatever, whatever your vote is, just make sure your voice is heard. Yeah. Exciting. I personally Exciting. voted yes. Uh, <laughs> I think it's going to, you know, to me, I looked at it as 25,000 US dollars out of the treasury uh, is a great investment uh, for nothing else, just to bring attention to the Paul Sarah uh, DAX and, and the Corey network. So, so to me, it was just a no brainer. I don't, participate personally on on the uh centralized exchanges that's why i'm over here but at the same time uh, i know there's a lot of people that do uh, so there's a definite net benefit there so just because i don't utilize it i'm not gonna you know go say no i don't want to support that uh, i gotta look at the big picture and, and i think it's going to be a positive addition to our ecosystem yeah, and I think it's the start of something great you know Posera, a sarah token will be available on a centralized exchange, um, you know, the listing is starting. So, you know, it's it's good to see that the the people behind this are, you know, sticking through true to what they had put forward for this project. And one of the promises were listings of Sarah. And, you know, it's not long after we're having our first listing. So shout out to the team, shout out to Alberto and um, everyone working together on this. Yeah, and another advantage uh, for those of you, especially if you have Corium just sitting on the XRP ledger, um, you know, get it bridged over here. It's uh, it's free, it's quick, it's simple. If you need hand, we can give you help with that. But uh, once you're over here, uh, Cipher Wallet, this is a great uh, great wallet for the Cosmos based ecosystem. You just load it up and uh, spend your crypto instantly. You load it up with five hundred bucks or more, and you get a uh, physical card sent to you. Uh, zero fee funding for USDC, uh, free shipping of the card. So yeah, support 16 chains, 500 tokens, globally available. You know, so uh, there's lots of good reasons to come on over here if you haven't. Uh, those of you on the XRP Ledger with Corium, uh, and and even if you're just over on the XRP Ledger and and just didn't realize what Corium is building over here, it's it's all meant to to bring this value to the XRP Ledger. We're just missing a couple com critical components to to make that whole loop uh, go back and forth. But uh, at the, in the meantime, you can certainly come over here and take a look and get yourself familiar with what's going on. OmniFlix, Flix Friday, March editions now live. Interact with videos, create your own videos with image interactions and win from a 2000 Flix token reward pool. That is live between February 29th and March 2nd. I will be putting up a interactive video here today to be part of that promotion. So look for that. I will be sending those links out once it is ready. OmniFlix is a powerhouse. And uh, this new this new addition with um, image interactions, I think is going to be a cool feature, uh, especially when you deal with uh, governance and, and educational content. Yeah, what I like about this new feature with the image interaction as well, um, if you have, you know, videos you had put up before, you could actually go in and add images to those interactions if you want to. So um, that was a cool thing. I, I tried it on one of my videos, my last uh, t Omniflix um, post there on the TV. And, um, you know, hopefully I get some interactions. But they're giving away some really cool prizes for this um March um, Flix Friday um, edition, and you know it's always good. You know, it's, I I love OmniFlix because not just the technology is smooth and the, you know the experience is great, but they give back to the community. They always make sure that they you know they, they you're happy. You know, you always get an NFT. You always get something just by being in the ecosystem and participating. So shout out to the team at OmniFlix. Yeah, they're good. They 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 push you. They push you to get your get your stuff done, but they also uh, give you lots of opportunity to be rewarded for it. And and as far as uh, tips, I mean, I've made 
way more on tips on Omniflix than I made on YouTube in the last year. And I've only been Omniflix for, I put very little on Omniflix already. So the, the ROI, as far as that com comparison goes, is just out of the, out of this, not even comparable. So as far as the prizes for interacting, cause the cool thing is these interactive videos, you're going to learn a lot about the cosmos ecosystem, uh, depending obviously which ones you, you, uh, go check out, but, uh, the prize breakdown is uh, first place gets 500 all the way down to fifth gets 100 flicks tokens um so it's a pretty nice prize pool i think they're currently trading around 20 cents we said earlier um uh, and then there's uh, 10 more that could get 50 flicks each and then every wallet with a minimum of 100 interactions secures a flicks fam badge so if you want to go on a on an interactive omni flicks video binge watching weekend with your loved one um i can tell you those flicks fam badges are are highly sought after they provide a a great reward by holding those so um yeah if, i i don't have netflix but um for those that like to do their binge watching on netflix just turn your attention to omniflix this weekend you'll be in line for some pretty cool prizes and you're going to learn a lot too at the same time that's a good part about it All right, and from the Corian Punks team, just drive back from Los Angeles Zen Lounge event. Uh, if you were there and you didn't get to claim your Corian Punks Soulbound token for your proof of attendance, just give them a message. They have the RSVP list. They will get that set up for you uh, because it will uh, not it, that Soulbound token is going to unlock one free mint on the upcoming collection once it's released on bids.com here, hopefully soon. So definitely, uh, if you're there and didn't get set up for that, just reach out and they will get you verified and ready for that. And I finally brought the Corium Concepts stickers out into the world. Nice. I had them made for Cornova a year ago, but uh, forgot to hand them out. So uh, yeah, I'm starting to see them out there now. Got a few of them. I know I got some down in Hawaii. So uh, looking forward to seeing those uh, surface around the globe. Um, so yeah, those of you that got them, uh, yeah, give it a share. And uh, the the one with the, the Trinity on it, uh, I mean, there's going to be something special for the, the holders of those someday soon. So keep your eyes on those. Nice. Uh, there was one thing that I don't think was on the agenda. Leap Wallet did something, you know, today's the Leap Day and leap year and uh they did something this morning where if you interacted with one of their posts you were going to get a special screen um for your mobile phone a screensaver um with you know the leap day celebration uh art graphic so you know shout out to leap wallet it's one of the leading wallets in the cosmo ecosystem and um also aquarium partner Yeah, you bet. Uh, I, I I seen that. I didn't I didn't participate in it, and I think it was for the first one hundred. If I read that right, so uh, I don't know where that's at, but definitely check it out. Leaps uh, become my favorite wallet. To be honest with you, they seem to really jump on the the new projects and and new changes uh, really quick, and I've had heard no issues uh, uh, for for long long time since the corium uh main net actually so uh yeah it's it's definitely become my favorite wallet to interact with well i think articulate i'll let you uh close this this slide out we'll uh wrap her up here for the day unless you had something else to to share i think that's it uh for today it was a great experience uh using this new uh format I definitely look forward to participating again. Very smooth, uh, very liquid. And um, yeah, uh, thank you to everyone that joined and um, look out for more of these, uh, you know, broadcast live streams and, you know, shout out to the whole Corium uh, community DAO, everyone that's a participant, shout out to the teams, members and the partners, Marco, Mac, Saucy, you know, Brian, wherever you guys are, shout out to you. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. This is my new track. Well, it's not a new track, but it's a new uh, posting on uh, Omniflix where I 
made it in an NFT as well. I have 24 left uh, and you can get one for yourself today. It's called Summer. We have, you know, we're in spring right now and, you know, summer is on the horizon. And this is one of my favorite tracks. I fully produced this song, written, uh, mixed, mastered, um, everything. So check it out. Let me know if you guys like it and you can grab it on Omniflix. Yeah, hopefully it's going to play off here. Uh, we're going to try, we'll just try and go through the interactive video. So those that haven't seen an Omniflix uh, interactive video, we'll go through it here right now. Uh, it may not work because I'm streaming and it just lags it out. So we're going to do our best. Um, if not, I will uh, clean it up and, and add it to to the end uh, tomorrow in, in a way we can hear it. So thanks, everybody, for joining us. We'll play this on the way out. Thank you for everybody in the comments for jumping in and uh, being part of the show. I think I'm really going to like this new platform, too. Tomorrow, I we'll uh, take it to the next level and we'll stream on x.com at the same time. So um, yeah, here we go. Let's see if this works. Peace and prosperity to y'all. Someone want horse and car. Someone want girls and money. But my goals them simply, no? Articulate. Check it. Me have real life goals, no bends, no hammer. All me want to do is stay alive this summer. Every day more wisdom, not dumber. Enjoy freedom, stay out of the summer. Real life goals, no bends, no hammer. All me want to do is stay alive this summer. Every day more wisdom, not dumber. Enjoy freedom, stay out of the summer. Morning time, see the sun rise. More life, the summer nice. Give thanks, don't think twice. Stay positive, my advice. Money if you make what is the price. Not my soul, no sacrifice. Me work hard, no shut eyes. Yet still a bad mind, what if you my life? Real life goes, no bends, no hammer. And we want to do a stay alive this summer. Every day a move, we stop, not dumb. Enjoy freedom, stay out of the summer. Real life goes, no bends, no hammer. And we want to do a stay alive this summer. Every day a move, we stop, not dumb. Enjoy Enjoy freedom, stay out of the summer. Beach trip, cook out, me want it. Now see me pam post, I say wanted. Family time, no, me not haunted. This are just straight facts, no slanted. DJ drop this one shortly. Bubble to the ground, just hold on to shorty. A summertime man, we want fit party. A summertime man, we want fit. Me a real life goes, no bends, no hammer. And we want to do a stay alive this summer. Every day a move, we stop, not come. Enjoy freedom, stay out of the summer. Real life goes, no bends, no hammer. And we want to do a stay alive this summer. Every day a move, we stop, not come. Enjoy freedom, stay out of the summer. Articulate. Articulate.